hey you guys check it out I got ready for the day I'm actually not I'm actually not gonna do my hair down and straight and all that because it is going to be a hundred degrees today and I am going out today I didn't go out at all yesterday DB you want to say hi you want to say hi he wants to play really bad and I've been getting ready and it's been driving him nuts so I am gonna go out with my friend Heather today she felt good enough to go out finally after having her root canal she's the one who I was supposed to go out with two days ago he wants to play so bad but I don't want to get all hot I just showered and got cooled off and I'm sitting underneath my sister's fan right here it's gonna be hot today I can't I gotta like maintain my cool he wants to play so bad maybe I'll play with him for a minute but so I'm gonna go out with her but I'm gonna try and hit a few more dollar stores along the way just because there's still a few more pieces that I need to look for and then Go out with her and then I don't know I might do like a movie by myself because it's gonna be super hot today the last thing I wanted is to keep going from store to store um, in the heat so and then I had an idea for tonight and I can't remember what it was so if I think of it I'll let you know you want that DB you want it Nope. Put it down. Doobie. This is <laughs> driving me nuts. Put it down or I won't play. Don't get it. Doobie. Nope. Hey. He hear Aaron talk. Aaron, talk to him. Where's my boy? Are you being a good boy? Doobie, where's Aaron? Where's my boy? He's so confused. He's so confused right now. He heard my voice and ran to the front door. <laughs> this little boy is sad I'm leaving. <laughs> he wouldn't even have me throw the toy one more time. I'm sorry, Doobie. Say bye-bye. Do you want a cozy bed to sleep in? Do you want me to make you a cozy? Yeah? You want to lay down in your cozy? Come here. He likes to get all the way under. You don't want to lay down? Alright, come say goodbye to me, okay? Alright, so I just got here. I'm in Layton. So it's just north of where my sister lives. It's actually about halfway between my sister's house and my parents' house up in Logan. And I'm meeting my friend Heather here and I'm at Cracker Bar Barrel. And I haven't come here for probably 10 years or so. Not to this location, but to one down in Salt Lake. But I'm excited to eat. I only had a small bowl of cereal this morning, a couple hours ago. So I'm, in, I'm looking forward to eat. <laughs> but I'm also looking forward to spending time with Heather. If she is okay with pulling out the camera, I will. I've always said that. I won't ever force this on anyone else. So it's up to Heather if I pull it out and we chat. Otherwise, I will check back in in a little bit after we have lunch. I do have some more shopping to do. Um, so I'm trying to just figure out how to do that in this heat and where the stores are and finding them and stuff. So let's go to that point. So I didn't take the camera in with me and <laughs> it was a good, 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 good. And she's still texting me. It was a good lunch with my friend. Um, she's telling me that I need to go get um, cookies and a drink at Fizz, which is one of the drink places that I've been wanting to go to. I got off the exit from my sister's house and it's literally like two minutes away. So I'm gonna go get a good drink. I don't know what I'm gonna get. She said I should get the, the Captain Sparrow, I think she said. Anyway, but I went to Hobby Lobby in between getting done with lunch with her and driving back down to my sister's. So I will show you why I, well, I went in there for some wedding stuff and what I was tempted at getting, but I didn't. Or did I? I don't know. Come and see me walking through Hobby Lobby really quick. And then we'll go to Fizz and then I will show you what I ended up getting at Hobby Lobby. I'm now back at home. I've actually been home for a couple hours. I talked to my sister's roommate, Kathy, for like an hour. 
And then, like, my, my swig is already gone. I'm really sad. I haven't eaten my cookie because <laughs> I keep having these conversations. I talked to my sister on the phone for, let me see how many minutes I talked to her for. Probably, like, an hour and a half. Um, yeah, like, an hour and a half. And got caught up with her because I haven't even had a chance to talk to her since I got here. And I have this whole thing set up on my bed. I was going to show you what I got from Hobby Lobby and a couple other things that I picked up along the way. Some of you've already seen. But I've literally been on the phone since I got home like two plus hours ago. So let me just show you really quick what I got from Hobby Lobby and kind of what my thought process is for all these different things. And it's kind of fun. And then I'll probably end the night. I've got to get packed up, which means i got to edit this video and yesterday's and pack my computer up and then I've got to get my I've got my suitcase down here that I need to um, pack up once I get pajamas on and pack up all this stuff so let me just show you really quick all the things that I got all right so I'll show you some of the wedding stuff that I've kind of compiled I just have to do one table at this wedding and so I've got some of these wedding frame or these picture frames from the dollar store um, I got like the 5x7 size and an 8x10 and I find it funny that they say 10x8 so I do be um, so anyway I might get some more of these I just ordered the prints on walmart.com because I won't be near a Costco in time to get the photos and then I got this guest book um, and I was so happy because like everything in the wedding section today was half off and so I got this guest book for people to sign in and then I also got some of this fabric ribbon type stuff. And I can't really tell what do they call it. I mean, they call it a ribbon. And it was $12.99, but I got it for, you know, $6.50. So I figured I could probably use that for something else after the wedding. But I might lay this down across the middle of the table as like a little runner. Um, I'm hoping that she has like a purple fabric that she's doing as a runner on the regular tables. And then I'll add this as an overlay. And then I've got two or three of these jars, and she has jars like this that are going to go on the tables with water in them and then a little candle. So I actually need to get some candles as well. So those are the things that I've got, and then they have the flowers and the table runner, so I don't have to do that. So that's what I got finished up today um, at Hobby Lobby. And then I also got this stuff on clearance from the 4th of July. We had nothing left at our Hobby Lobby when I was home, but they totally did. This is what I wanted to put the corn dogs in, but they didn't have any left even before the 4th of July. So I got these, both of these for like a dollar a piece. And then I got some of the cupcake holders. I think these ones are 66 cents after they were, they were 75, 66 or 75% off, I think. And then I got some flags as well. I think there's another set of flags in there because there's only 20 in this pack. And I thought these would be cute for cupcakes next year to kind of add to it. So I will stick that aside for next year. I think I've already shown these. Maybe I didn't. I just talked about it. I got some candles from the dollar store one of the other times I went as well as some of the sparklers. I added a yellow tablecloth. Because I think I'll do the hula skirt across the front of the table, like across this front part hanging down. But then I'll put the yellow tablecloth on the top of the table so that it actually is covered up. So then these are for my activity for church at the end of August. So I got those and then I think that's it. Yeah, so I think that's all I got. So i got to kind of pack this up to be able to take it home. But I've also got like all these receipts that I've got to like itemize the items from to turn into like my church and I don't think I have to get paid back from my aunt or my sister-in-law for the wedding um, but just in case she wants receipts for that kind of stuff um, for whatever reason if she wants to return them or whatnot I want to be able to like give those to her I feel like I'm not showing everything but I think that's all I got um, Oh, when I was at Hobby Lobby, it was really tempting to get, I really wanted to get something for 75% off because they had a better selection than I did at my store at that, you know, that sale that they're doing. And I have room in my car to take it home because I'm losing two kids to go home and their suitcases and all their stuff. And so I have room to take it home, but I literally just, there wasn't anything that I really liked. So I went around and around and around all those like tables and I, 
just couldn't find anything that I wanted and even to justify five dollars for it. Literally like there was huge pieces of artwork and signs and whatnot that were only like five dollars but I just didn't love them. So don't buy things just because they're cheap. If you don't love them, don't buy them. So anyway you guys, I think I'm gonna pack this all up and then turn in for the night. But I had a fun day and I hope you enjoyed this little video. I will be back with my kids tomorrow getting my hair done. A lot of, some of my family is going um, on a little, going to the amusement park tomorrow. So um, they, a lot of the kids will be gone, but I'm gonna try and hook up with my sister's kids so that the kids have someone to play with tomorrow. But you'll see them again and you won't have just boring old me that you're stuck with. So anyway, you guys take care, have a good night and I'll see you later.